King Tut is my son-in-law. We did a body cast of him, different head, but that's my son-in-law up on the chariot. I have been at the Milwaukee Public Museum for about 37 years now, so a long time. I'm an exhibit artist, which at the current time involves cleaning and maintaining all of our permanent exhibits and helping with the installation of any traveling shows that we have. Formerly, all of the house exhibits you see were created, designed, fabricated, and installed by museum staff. I've helped with human figure sculpting, I've helped with plant modeling. I had also one time was in charge of all special event decor. Our exhibit staff would spend six months creating a speakeasy, a brothel. We did a circus exhibit and we would literally transform our lobby. Over the years, the job, it's always something new, was always something different and exciting. I started right from college. I have a bachelor's in art and design, and basically you learned on the job as you go. You came with a skill set, but then we learned from watching and training with the masters that were here. Some of the talented women artists I've had the opportunity to work with over the years were Roberta Plummer. She was our lead plant modeler, very talented artist and also Wendy Christensen, who was our world champion taxidermist here. I learned several things from her, including habitat work, molding and casting, and she even taught me a bit of taxidermy. Since I was a little kid, my, for my birthday every year, I got to choose something, you know, a special trip. And every year, my trip was to come to the museum. And my mom didn't drive, so we took the city bus downtown to the museum. That was a big thing. And I was just always so fascinated with, with everything. And I just said, I'm going to work there someday. I want to do that. One of my first job, my first assignments here was to recreate, refurbish, refresh Granny in the streets of Old Milwaukee. And at one time, that figure was very scary looking. She had a very mean looking face. There was an extra head lying around of the Irish woman in the European village. So I was handed this head and said, you know, kind of rework this and make it look a little different and make this the new granny. I actually have photographs of me with my, at that time, boss Bob Frankoviak in the workshop here with a saw cutting, decapitating the old granny. And one cool thing is that her hands, Granny's hands, I actually made casts of my mom's hands. She was about that age at that time, so um, Granny's hands are my mom's hands. It's really a lot of cool things that sometimes you take for granted. I just think it's, it's great that we can acknowledge how much women really do contribute to everything. <laughs>